Now, should you help out your fellow photographer? It sounds a little bit of an odd question potentially, but imagine this scenario. If you were a professional photographer and a friend approached you wanting to get into the industry and they maybe just asked you for a couple of tips, would you give them your most kind of prized possession and your best secrets about how to get into the industry, how to find new clients, how to make money most importantly as well? Or would you just fob them off with a couple of bit of vague information? We wanted to have a look a little bit further into this point and ask some of our fellow iPhotography students to see what the current standpoint was. So we wanted to start this discussion to find out kind of what type of photographers we are actually experiencing nowadays. Have we changed a little bit from the generations previously? We wanted to find, are we just as open in previous years and previous generations with our information on our help? Or are we a little bit more possessive of the tools and the tips that we've learned? So this is why we've asked our iPhotography students in a couple of different polls and through emails. So before we look at the results, we just wanted to have a look at the two sides of the argument as to what the benefits are to sharing and if there are actually any benefits from keeping all that information to yourself. Well, do you ever find yourself browsing through Instagram photographs, for example, and you see the same type of photo over and over and over? Maybe they're a little tweaked in editing, but they're fundamentally copies of somebody else's work. Maybe if we were to share our own ideas a bit more readily, then it would create maybe more of a diverse pool of images over time if we actively seek to help new photographers. And this way, surely, photography would constantly keep evolving. There are also obviously valid reasons as to why you possibly wouldn't share your information and insider knowledge, especially if you were a professional earning a living out of photography. Say you were a wedding photographer, for example, and you start to see an influx of new photographers locally just coming into the, uh, the wedding industry in your area. Now, if they're coming in, they maybe only work in part-time, they're just doing it for a little bit of a side hobby to begin with. Maybe they aren't charging as much and with the information that they've learned from different tips and tricks, they start to kind of make a little bit of a, a kind of a popularity in that scene. Therefore, it's going to dilute the amount of work that you could possibly get. Possibly would it change your pricing structure and your business model? It can have all those repercussions further down the line. Now, we may be blowing things up a little bit too wide, but this is why it's good to have that discussion to begin with to actually find out the real point from you, the photographer. So obviously, if you've got input, let us know in the comments below. Let's have a look at the results. So. 96.5% said yes, they would share their tips, and 3.5% said they wouldn't. So that's actually really, really nice to hear. I didn't think it'd be such a big swing in favor of sharing information and insights like that, but obviously our iPhotography students are a very generous bunch, and this is why we love you. But we can understand why that 3.5% said they wouldn't. There is also and always gonna be that element of a bit of secrecy, especially if you've spent so much money on training and education. You don't wanna kind of give those tips away so readily but there is obviously a large majority of people that believing that sharing is caring and this is fantastic to hear so if you're not an eye photography student don't worry a, you can always join up. We've got the links in the description below. If you want to get involved in conversations like this a little bit more readily, you can obviously leave a few comments below about what you think on this position. Would you share your tips? Would you not? Give us a reason why. It's, it's interesting to expand this a little bit further anyway. But obviously, if you've loved this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. We'll see you next time. But just before we do, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. We'll see you soon.